So let's work on completing the to-do items. So before we create to-do swell component, we need to create a method inside to-do swell that we're going to pass as props. So we're going to have a to-do and it's passed from looping over the to-do list. And we're going to have a complete to-do function that's going to take the ID of the to-do and toggle its completion. So inside to-do swell, we're going to import the component. We haven't created it yet. From to-do swell. And then we're going to add the function to complete the to-do. So we can say function complete to do is going to take the ID, which is going to be a string. It doesn't return anything. And then we're going to say to do's are equal to to do's map for each to do. If the to do ID matches the past in ID, then that's the to do we want to change, right? So we can say to do completed state should be opposite of what it currently is. And then after that, we can return the rest of the to do's. So if we scroll down here, we can use our component, cut the li because that's what we're going to use as the markup in to do that well. So let's say to do, I'm going to pass to do, complete to do, and then let's close it. And that should be it for to do swelt, I believe. Yes, yeah, so now we should create the to do swelt. And inside of it, let's just paste the markup before we lose it. <laughs> and then let's add a script with the language of TypeScript. Let's import our type to do from root types to do. Let's create the complete to do type, which is going to take in an ID of string and it doesn't return anything. And now for our props, export let to do we're going to have the to do type export let complete to do is going to have the complete to do type so if you look here this is our markup right now and let's see yeah i don't think we have to add anything right now to here besides the styles so we can go right here we can get our styles goes until the filters now let's save that and then we can create a style tag that should be it we have a warnings because we haven't implemented the editing yet so we can save this and let me take a look i think this is it so we add all the styles so inside to do svelte we're going to listen for changes when a user checks the checkbox and mark the to do as completed by passing the to do id to complete to do we're also going to set the checked attribute and use the class directive to apply a completed class if the to do is completed and that's how we achieve the animation we've seen previously so we need to update the to do svelte to reflect the changes which are here so we can say on change Let's put it inside a function. I'm going to say complete to do, to do ID. And we can save. And you might be wondering why are we wrapping this inside the function? Because if we weren't using a function and just invoking complete to do, it would just run once and that's it. And we wouldn't be able to run it anymore after that. Yeah, so that's it. So we can apply the directive. So on the span here, where we're going to have the R to do text, we can give it a directive and say, hey, apply class of completed if the to do is completed, right? So we can find that class here. Yeah, it's not completed. Yeah, so we can save this and I think that's everything. So if we go here, let's refresh because I'm paranoid. <laughs> and then let's just see if we complete other to do. So for example, if we uncheck this, this should update and now it's completed false. Let's check these two. And they should be true. Awesome. And you see our animation is working and our to-dos are completed. So see, it's not that bad as I told you. Great job.